Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Got some new flashlights to the channel. Uh, this is a new company uh, to me. This is Trust Fire. They uh, reached out to me via email. Uh, I've seen some of the reviews that I've done here on the channel and said, hey, can we send you some of our stuff? We think that you're going to like it. Uh, and uh, asked me to do an honest review. So they sent out uh, these four lights here. Um, never seen them before, never dealt with the company. This is the E3R. Uh, I'll show you this up close and we'll go over these individually. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There you go. Uh, this is a thousand lumens, 175 meter throw. We'll run for 24 days. I assume that's on low. Candela scale is 7700. One meter impact resistant for dropping. IPX8 waterproof rated. And uh, it runs on one 18650 or two CR123A batteries. And this one is rechargeable, has a micro USB charging port. So uh, we'll check that out. Here's some of the, the information you might want to see as far as specs, and you, you can pause it if you want to see it. And we'll go over more as we check it out. And I'm gonna do one uh, big review on it instead of four individual. This is the T3, you can see that one there. This is another 1000 lumen light. This will run on 30 days, I assume again on low, 137 meters of throw, so it's a little less than the E3R. 4600 on the Candela, which is less than the other one as well. A meter drop, IPX8 waterproof rating. Same deal, 18650 or two CR123s. And this one does not ship with batteries. The next one up in the group here is the T4. Another 1,000 lumen light will run for 30 days and low, 384 meters of throw, so it's the uh, the most of the others so far. 36,900 on the Candela scale, so it should be pretty bright. Meter drop, IPX8, and again, 118,650. So there's some pretty impressive numbers on an 18,650. Or two CR123s, again, no battery in this one. Um, I'll show you the uh, specs on that there. Okay, and uh, the big one here, which uh, has 431 meters of throw. You can see they advertise it right on the box. Uh, this is the Tactical Flashlight T62. Uh, let's see here. Here's the specs. Okay. Looks like uh, 3,600 lumens, 110 minutes of runtime, 431 meters of throw. This is all on their, their extreme bright setting. Uh, 14,000. I'm sorry, 144,000 on the Candela scale, so this should be very, very bright, huge throw. One meter drop resistant, IPX8, waterproof. Uh, let's see, it can match Trustfire RT70 remote switch as optional. Uh, extended tube could help you increase the runtime. So it looks like this has a, an extra, extra section you can add to it to make it longer, and a remote tape switch, which they didn't send here. Um, so let's check this out if you want to. Uh, see what these will do. So I'm gonna open these ones up, I'll show you what they come with, and then we'll, uh, when the sun goes down, we'll do some outside footage as well. So we'll start first with the small one here, the E3R. Again, a thousand lumens, let's tear this open. So we get some uh, literature, uh, but what everybody wants to see, it comes with a Velcro lanyard. Whoa, what do we got here? Sorry. Comes with a Velcro uh, nylon pouch. And inside that pouch, they stuck a lanyard, some extra O rings, the charging cable, and just a micro USB, and the light itself. Okay, so that's what she looks like here. Okay, nothing. Uh, Extravagant, got some decent machining for some grip here. Uh, he has a side switch activation. It does not have a tail switch. Let me see, is it magnetic here? Not magnetic. Does have a focus. Has a pocket clip that's uh, pretty sturdy and has your spot for your lanyards there if you're into lanyards. And the pocket clip is removable. Here you can see your charging port. Okay. Plug that in right there, and uh, let's see what she can do. Okay, so to change modes, each time you want to change it, it's an individual press of the button, so that's high, 
medium, low, and off. High, medium, low, and off. If you press and hold, it locks the light out. That's all you'll get is a couple flashes letting you know it's locked out. So you'll just press and hold again. There we go, it's back on. We turn it on and then hold. We go to strobe. That's a pretty quick strobe, it changes in intensity. All right, so for the numbers, high is 1,000 lumens, and um, medium is 180 lumens. Low is five lumens, uh, 24 day runtime, fresh charge, 13 meters of throw, 40 on the candela and your strobe, which I won't do again for anybody who out there who might uh, get epileptic issues with it, is 1,000 meters, strobe, 7,700 on the candela. Not bad for a little light like this. So in looking over the literature on this, uh, before we go outside, um, while it's running, you might not be able to pick it up on, because of, on the screen because of the uh, studio lights, but that's the inner part there is red. And it has four different modes which will tell you the, the level of your charge. So flat, uh, solid red is between 10 and 40% of your charge. If it's flashing red, it's one to 10% of your charge. Yellow is between 40 and 80% of your charge, and green is from 80 to 100%. So you get a nice little indicator there of your battery level, so it's not a guessing game. Uh, if you are into LED lights, you know it's typically, especially if it's not rechargeable, uh, when the battery goes, the battery goes. Uh, but this is a nice little option, nice little rechargeable light. Now, a decent little uh, light, feels good in the hand. It's got a slight crenulated bezel there. Uh, you can see that, a little bit of an impact. Also. You know, if for whatever reason you put the light down, it'll you can still see light bleeding through. It'll tell you that it's still on. And again, like I said, we'll uh, see what these do outside. Okay, let's open it up and see what it came with for a battery here. And it's in 18650, 3.7 volt lithium ion. Has their own branding on it. It is a rechargeable 3000 milliamp battery. Okay. So you can get these right now. They're working on a website, but you can get them on Amazon. Uh, they're $49.95 on Amazon right now. And I'll, I'll have a link in the description if you wanted to grab one. Uh, but uh, so far, seems like a pretty solid little light. By the time you see this full video, I would have been playing with it for probably uh, probably at least a month to, uh, to see how it makes out. I'll take it out in the field, use it at work, and check it out. Okay, next up is the T3. This is another 1000 lumen light. Again, Amazon, I'll have a link in the description. You can check it out. This is uh, $39.95. And uh, let's see if I can get this thing open. Okay, looks like we get, get a nice little uh, pouch here, Velcro. And inside you get extra O-rings, a lanyard. Now for comparison, Here's the one we were looking at, the E3R, the rechargeable one. This is slightly, I mean, just a smidge uh, longer. Let's see if I can line that up there for you. Just a smidge longer. Uh, it is not rechargeable, 18650. You can put in rechargeable uh, batteries, but the light itself is not rechargeable. It is a tail switch cap. So let's put in a battery and check it out. So the user interface on this light is uh, it's different, you know, uh, many of the lights out there now, they have multiple modes. This does too. This has low, medium, high, strobe, and SOS. But to get to each one of those, it's a separate, uh, complete on-off of the, the light, of the tail switch. So here is uh, low. You won't be able to see that, but you can see the light is on. And uh, that is five lumens. And that'll run 30 days on a fr uh, new battery. Uh, here is medium. That's 200 lumens. This is high. That is the 1,000 lumens. Uh, 135 meters of throw. Here is your strobe. That's 1,000 lumens. And here is SOS. And it runs that at 200 lumens. So again, the comparison size-wise, this was the rechargeable one, the E3R. This is about four and a half inches in length. Uh, this one is, this is the one, uh, the uh, T3 is just, a smidge taller so four and a half inch light it is a one inch diameter light both of them are so they're considerably similar in size just uh, different operations side switch rechargeable on the e3r uh, the t3 is uh, non-rechargeable tail switch operated they both have that stainless steel pocket clip which is removable decent little light feels good this one has a checkering 
uh, and uh, some uh, machining here for the heat sinks and a uh, crenulated bezel as well. You can see that there. Not much, it's kind of subtle. Okay, one more thing to note on the T3, that uh, every time you turn it on, it'll go to high mode. But if you loosen the head, quarter turn, when you press the button halfway down, oops, halfway down, it'll cycle through the modes there. And then when you find the mode you want, you simply click it down and it stays there. Okay, next up is the uh, T4. Okay, we'll check this one out. We already went over the specs. This little foam packing piece there. Okay, again, they throw in a nice little nylon pouch. This one has some branding on it. You also get some extra O-rings, a lanyard, and the light itself. Let's put this aside. Okay, so here's the T4. It's larger than the previous two we looked at. This one is 5.6 inches in length, uh, 1.6 inches in diameter at the widest on the head here, and the body itself is one inch in diameter. You can see it does come with a, uh, a nice uh, finger ring here, so you can get a good cigar grip if that's what you wanted to do. The same uh, pocket clip, the stainless steel pocket clip that's on the other ones there, it is removable, and it is a tail switch operation. Again, does not come with a battery. Again, I'll have a link for this one. It's on Amazon as well. This comes in at $59.95. Let's throw a battery in it and uh, check it out. Okay, so the T4, you can see it has quite a bit of uh, cooling fins here. So this is obviously gonna get uh, hot. It's a, a bigger light. The machining in it, for, is, you did a good positive grip on it. Uh, no complaints there. It's a tail switch operated. And this also has high, medium, low, strobe, and SOS. Okay, this one's a little bit different than the T3 where it is when the head's all the way tight, it's either high or off. And then it's similar to the T3, when if you loosen the head a quarter turn, it'll revolve through the other modes. Again, I'll have links in the description. $59.95 here for the T4. They do have pictures on their website of a weapon uh, mount, which would be cool if they had sent that. I could have thrown it on the rifle and, and tested it that way. But uh, we'll put this aside and check out the last one. Okay, this is the T62. Uh, this is their thrower, 431 meters. So let's check this one out. Okay, we've got, uh, looks like a, a section to expand the light. Yep, so it's a machined tube, basically, just to expand the length of the light. And then inside, we get the light itself, and the lanyard, and the literature. Okay, so this bad boy is huge. Uh, this will run on two 18650s, or three 18650s, if you put in that expansion tube. Again, it doesn't come with it. It would be nice if they shipped it with the batteries required, but that would change the price. Uh, this comes in at $64.95. Again, links on, uh, link to Amazon being below. I don't get anything. This is not an affiliate. They don't pay me. They just said, hey, you want to check out our lights. Um, so I figured I'd check it out. You can see the machining is pretty aggressive here uh, for the cooling. It has a crenulated bezel, a large head, and a smaller tube. So let's throw some batteries in this and see what it can do. So we might as well go all out, right? We'll put the expansion piece on. and put in three 18650s. Very long light when you have that extension tube on there. So this one operates like the T4. Half press will change the mode. Okay, so this has high. That's 3600 lumens there on high. Uh, 110 minutes, fresh charge. Uh, it's a pretty warm, 100, it's 144,000 lumen, uh, on, I'm sorry, it's 144,000 on the candela scale, so this should be a thrower, we'll see tonight when we get outside and uh, do some testing, and again, by the time you see this, I'll be uh, playing with these for several weeks, so I'll have a good idea of uh, whether I would recommend them to you or not, and this is actually called extreme bright mode, that 3600 lumen, the next one down is uh, high, and this is 1500 lumens, uh, 300 minutes, of throw uh, of burn on that and six, 60,000 on the candela. The next one is medium, 190 lumens, 24, uh, 2,040 meters on the throw, uh, 7,600 on the candelas. 
then it goes right to strobe. There's no low mode on this. Strobe is at 2100 lumens and SOS is at 3600 lumens. Okay, good little grip on it. So when it's all together, this is a foot long. It's a foot long hot dog, basically. When you don't have that extra section in, it only runs on two CR123s, then it's a nine inch light. Uh, you're at 2.2 inches head diameter. Uh, it, it doesn't weigh much. It weighs just a, over a half a pound, so it's very, very light. It's all aluminum, aerospace aluminum. Um, it seems like it's pretty solid. We'll see what it can do outside. But the T62 tr from Trustfire. Again, I want to thank Trustfire for sending these out to the channel. So here's some night footage rolled in, and we'll give you the uh, final thought when we come back. Okay, everybody, we're here uh, testing some of these uh, Trust Fire lights outside. The, this is the E3R. This is a rechargeable one we went over. Uh, this is low mode uh, here outside. It's very, very dark. Not much of a moon out tonight. So let's uh, show you what it, it can do here in the yard and give you an idea of uh, something, if this is something that you might want. Okay, so there is high mode, and that barn is a good uh, 50 yards from where we're standing. Uh, and you can see it lights it up very good. It'll even cut into the trees above and beyond that. Okay, I'll put the lumens up here on the screen. This is medium. You can still see the barn, still see the trees, still see all the bugs flying in the background. Okay, and there's low. This is what I was just using when I was talking to you. From here, naked eye, I can see that barn lighting up uh, very faintly. Uh, not a lot of detail made out around it, but it can still uh, be seen. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on the camera. Uh, and then from there, we have the strobe. The strobe goes slow, then fast, then slow again. It's a, it's a very different type of strobe than we're typically used to seeing. But that's the E3R from Trustfire. Again, links to these four different lights will be in the description if you find that it's something that you might want. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, this is the T3. This is high there. Again, I'll put all the lumens on the screen. Again, link will be in the description if this is something that you think you might want to pick up. You can see that it uh, cuts through the night pretty good. A little more throw than the one we just looked at. Nice, de decent light. It does get, uh, does get warm rather quickly here. I can feel it getting warm. Now we're going to rotate that head 25% there or a quarter turn there. And now we can cycle through the different modes. There's low. Can't even make stuff out over there uh, from where we are. But you can see that it is on. Uh, it's very, very dim. You can see my hand. But you can't see the, the barn where the previous light, the E3R, you could see it with low. Then next up is medium. Again, I'll put the lumens on the screen. You can make out the barn, no problem. You can still see beyond it and through the trees. Next is strobe. It's a very rapid strobe there. Then it slows down. Again, similar to the E3R. Next mode is SOS. Three short, three long, three short. Okay, Morse code for all you uh, young millennials who doesn't know don't know what that is. Decent light. Okay, up next is the T4. That's the larger uh, of the uh, handhelds. Again, when the uh, the head is completely screwed on, it goes high, and that's it. Okay, excellent throw on this one. Much better than the previous two. Uh, a defined hot spot, a good throw around it cuts through the uh, trees it can definitely see two three yards over i'm probably annoying the hell out of my neighbors right now but this is this is impressive for this little light here now i'm going to rotate the head quarter turn that's where we can get the different modes so we're going back to high this is low here okay again you can't see on the barn from here i can't even make it out to be honest with you but uh rest assured it is on uh, it is very dim, five lumens. I'll have the lumens on the screen, but I can't make out the barn from here. Next is medium. Okay. Medium, you can definitely make the barn out. Uh, you can cut through the couple yards. Um, lighting up the uh, trees, good. Definitely can use this out and about. Good throw here. And next is high. And we already saw that. I mean, this is very, very bright. Great throw on this. Defined hot spot there. Decent spill all around. 
then we have the strobe their strobe is very fast then it goes to slow and then fast again and then and then SOS all right here's the t62 guys boom look at that thing much brighter uh, less of a defined hot spot more of a, a spill and definitely uh, floods the area excellent this is great for like a searchlight I can already see me uh, throwing this in a go bag searchlight okay we'll step it down next level here I'll put the lumens on the screen I believe this is their high the first one was their like ultimate step it down again this is their medium mode you can see still can make out that barn still can cut through the trees here not showing you how it's going to show not sure how it'll show up on the screen uh, but i can still see the next yard easily and then they have their strobe this is more of a steady strobe where the other ones had that slow than rapid and the sos is very bright very very bright all right so there you see them uh, in in action i've been playing with these for a couple of weeks uh, just filming the wrap up now so all in all decent lights um they've been dropped you know they're only one meter impact resistant um this one got a little bit of a rattle going on inside uh, from dropping it but it still still operates um this is really really long uh foot long if you use the two uh 18650s i'm sorry foot long if you use all three nine inches long if you use just two and the other three they're all rather similar the t4 uh is a, a better overall light it's a it's like a good midway point between the the gargantuan one and the small ones um, but all in all uh, decent but for the price uh, they don't come with batteries and there are brighter lights out there um, it's a decent light and maybe you aren't aren't somebody who wants those high lumen lights those almost super power flashlights um, these definitely have a, a spot in the market. Not everybody isn't, you know, trying to get uh, the sun inside of a, a flashlight or a, a white laser beam. A decent price point. Again, I would rather see them come with batteries, but it's not my company. Uh, so check them out. I want to thank Trust Fire for sending them to the channel. Impressive uh, entry into the market here. And uh, links, again, links for these are below. Uh, from Amazon and uh, they're getting their website rolling I guess it's still not loading up for me uh, so thanks for checking it out thanks for your time until we see each other again be safe stay vigilant and carry a weapon take care everybody